The resistance of part of a circuit is the obstruction to current flow. If the resistance of part of a circuit is high, then it is difficult for the current to flow through. More energy is needed to push the current through and therefore the potential difference or voltage around that component will be higher. The measurement of resistance is therefore a ratio of the voltage potential difference to the current. In equation form, that is the resistance measured in ohms is equal to the voltage in volts divided by the current in amps. This equation can also be rearranged so that either the voltage or the current is the subject of the equation. To measure the value of a resistor in practice, we need a circuit like this. The symbol I'm going to use is the SI unit, the box symbol, rather than the zigzag, which you often see still in textbooks. That resistor has to be inserted in the circuit here. The ammeter measures the current flowing through it all the way around the circuit and the voltmeter measures the potential difference across the resistor. As an example, I'm not going to measure the resistance of the coil around this pencil, but rather the pencil lead, the graphite through the centre. As you can see, it's connected here. So setting this circuit up, switching it on, you can see the values of current and potential difference, varying slightly, but as they steady down, 2.11 and 0.14. So in the calculation, resistance is potential difference over current, 2.11 volts divided by 0.14 volts. And quickly doing that, 211 over 14, which is 15.07. So to three significant figures, 15.1 ohms. Ohm's law is about how the current through a resistor changes when we change the potential difference. I'm going to use this circuit with a variable resistor included. Now the variable resistor is a bit like a tap. There are two or three possible symbols. But the one I'm going to use is the SI unit, the international unit, which is a box with an arrow through it. That is going to be altered to change the potential difference across the test resistor. We're measuring the potential difference across the test resistor as well as the current through it. So this is the circuit setup, ammeter, variable resistor, and on the right, the test resistor. Now, by altering the variable resistor, I'm very quickly going to change the potential difference across the test resistor and take a series of readings. You're welcome to write these down as you go along, but they are tabulated at the end. From the table of results, which you can see here, I'm going to draw a graph of potential difference plotted against current. And as you can see, that is a straight line graph. The current is directly proportional to the potential difference. And this is, in essence, Ohm's law. Formally, it says that the current flowing through a metallic resistance is directly proportional to the potential difference, the voltage, across the resistance providing that the temperature remains constant. The law only truly applies to metals. Many semiconductors vary from this. And it has to be that the temperature remains constant. If the temperature goes up, the activity of the atoms prevents the electrons flowing so easily and the resistance increases. Thank you for watching.